Hey, what's up everybody? So when I filmed this video, I filmed it, um, it was like the second video that I had filmed and I forgot a bunch of things. So I just wanted to get on here real quick and say, um, one, thank you for coming back and watching. Two, thank you for all the subscribers and all the views. I really appreciate it. Even though it's like, you know, just this much, um, I really appreciate it. And I think it's super awesome that everybody's tuning in and even texting me and asking me when my next video is going up. It, like, I was super insecure, so it kind of made me feel super good. So thank you so much. And then also, um, sorry about all this. It's the morning and I'm finishing editing before I get this next video up. But anyways, like I said, so in this video, um, we, my friend Brittany is here and um, I, we did the makeover. Um, it is part one of two. And so, uh, please stay tuned for the next video, which will be up next Wednesday. And, um, so this video, we do her hair. We, you know, we do have a little talk session and we just roll into the hair and whatnot. So get yourself a drink yourself or coffee, tea, um, water. What's your favorite drink? Mm. Two juices. Two juices. You can get yourself two juices, one for each hand. And uh, enjoy the rest of the video, and we will see you next week. Bye. If you all saw my first video, welcome back. And um, joining me is my friend Brittany. And this is the, I guess, would be the first? The second? First, first or second episode. Well, I guess it would be the second because the first one was like my intro. Yeah. So now I got that hair on my face. So today we are going to be celebrating my first episode with drink. And I totally bought this one on purpose because it has my Michelle. fucking name on it. Yes. Call out culture. That's right. We got our drink. Glass is ready. Yes. Oh, we got to open this. You know, have you ever walked out and seen when you did work there? We yes. used to work together. <laughs> but anyway. Um, did you ever walk out and see a Roadrunner? Yes. <laughs> the first time I saw it, I walked out and I was like, Looney Tunes? I was like, what the fuck is that? And I recorded it and I showed Logan and Logan was like, it's, it's a, a road fucking Roadrunner. Road and I was like, I didn't even know it was a real bird. You really thought like Looney Tunes made it up? Yeah, I had no idea. <sighs> oh, hi, bitches. Mm -hmm. No mess. So, we do liquid first right i mean they're both liquid yeah oh okay so tonight today since it's the first one we're doing rosé champagne as you should right in our mason glasses because we're in fucking texas so i mean texas forever bitches no <laughs> no get me out of this fucking state <laughs> you're thinking um <laughs> i mean i mean if i could i mean i don't mind it here it's just you know like i have my green and yellow my green and blue because i'm a seahawks fan because you know washington seattle life i don't care about sports so i chose sports <laughs> <laughs> well texas oh yeah i guess the longhorns yeah but... the longhorns are orange I know you don't. No one's watching the Super Bowl, so that's fine. Right. I mean, I even have like Longhorns t-shirts, and I'm like, oh, I just took this because I like to sleep in Texas, them. Because it's yeah. Yeah. And also, like, if I go to a public place, people are like, oh, Longhorns, and I'm like, sure, Bevo. Don't drink yet, because I'm gonna add something else to it. What? I want to make you my see me. Yes. <laughs> Since we're on the subject earlier, we were. I'm trying to get it from her. This is my favorite. With this greasy hair and no makeup, how can you not? <laughs> the before. Yes, this is my favorite. Sugar-free Red Bull. Or whatever Red Bull you choose. So I put Red Bull in it. Yes. It's the best. Did you know they did a study and people who drink like Red Bull and vodka has the same thing as like cocaine? Like it's the oh, really? same effects as cocaine. No wonder why I love it. <laughs> right. Okay. Cheers. Thank you for being on my first episode. Anytime. I'll be back. I can't do two straws.
for you are like I need two straws to represent in Washington. You drink out of both of them. I have alternate. Oh god, that's so good. I live. That is really good. I just watched it go down. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> like I said in my intro video, what we're going to do is talk about um, all things beauty. And I'm going to have people come on and we're going to talk about their hair, talk about their skin and their makeup. And then I'm going to give tips and tricks and all that other jazzy bullshit. Basically, a makeover. Oh, I just realized that. Yeah. Every person that comes on, they're getting a fucking makeover. I mean, yeah. You're welcome. I know. You were like, I'm going to wash your hair. I was like, salt. <laughs> I'm in. Who fucking cares? <laughs> as long as somebody else is washing my hair, it doesn't matter, right? Exactly. Right. So, Brittany is, um, I'll put a picture up. She used to, she has legit, like, black hair. Yeah. Um, black as in, like, level one. And I have been, she's been platinum forever for like a oh, while well. no because when i first started doing her hair she was heavy highlighted yeah and then we decided that blonde was her life still is yeah i know it is <laughs> take me back <clears throat> we're gonna get there again mm -hmm. so you were blonde for over a year yeah yeah and then her hair decided that it didn't want to be blonde anymore Oops, no bubbles so i drink fast I usually do too, but I'm trying to I know. chill out. I'm going to get drunk and then do your face. <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow, you look like a Picasso piece. You're like, oh, David Bowie? <laughs> oh, super. That is, a, that is a person that is an icon, though, so it's I don't true. have a problem with this. Give you a couple lightning bolts and call it a day. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do have red hair, too. But yeah, that was a mullet. But anyways, so anyhow, so she's got red hair now. So basically she was pink at, uh, before that. So we went from blonde to pink. It was more of like a rose blush pink, a little bit darker than this. Yeah. And we're trying to just get the hair back to its um, healthy state. And then we're gonna dive in and do something different from there. I'm just gonna go over about how we maintain her red and just kind of refresh it. I don't have her, um, I don't have her use it every day. Um, it's even more like a weekly maintenance or every other week, depending on how she feels about her hair. Yeah. This one is a mask by Pravana. It comes in a bunch of different colors and she has the, the radiant red. You can see it's pretty red. Yeah. And um, these conditioning masks are really good. 100% vegan, 100% gluten-free and 5% to fight cancer. Oh, it says 5% of all proceeds from Nevo products will be donated to the City of Hope. Oh, okay. I can go with that. There we go. Yeah. But it's, oh, no sulfates, no um, phthalates, salt-free, and paraben-free. This is really good to condition um, once to twice, you know, once a week to every two weeks. Yeah. It's the best for maintenance. Um, they also have a really good one for blondes. Yeah, I used that one before too. Yeah, that one's the shit. I'm Pravana is one of my favorite brands. I've been a Pravana girl for <clears throat> more years than I want to admit. <laughs> <laughs> that I've been doing here. Don't want to age myself. Yeah, seriously. Another good one is this one. It's viral. They have it's actually ultimately by Celebrity Lex down here. But Celebrity Lex has two different brands. They have the viral and they also have um I don't know, but the packaging is, a, it's identical. They just have like a diamond or like some kind of jewel up here. Um, this is the conditioner. It's really, really strong. This alone can maintain your hair without a red shampoo. And I'm not talking about like a shampoo made for red hair. I'm talking about a sh shampoo that actually has direct dyes in it. Like this one. This one's by Watercolors. Um, I'm not, this one, you, <laughs> honestly, it's not actually for consumers. To be honest, this one is the intense and um, they actually have one that you usually buy in salons, but this one's intense and it actually goes to three different shades. So like on the bottle, I don't know if you can see that has like a dark and then it has a medium and then it has a light different shapes on there. Because if you use it one time, 
and use the one time you're going to get the light color the second time you're going to get the medium color and then the third time you're going to get the darker color and it's actually the longer you wear it use it on your head or whatever leave it on your head the darker the color gets the normal one for consumers it's pretty much the same color it's a black bottle but the label is gold and then that one is for consumer use for some reason i didn't know that and then no i haven't yeah no you have it in my rep told me about it after the fact mm -hmm. so works really well yeah it does work really well so this is usually to bring uh clients back into the salon and it's um like per lanza has a thing called clampo which is to temporary temporarily color the hair um if you just wanted like a weekend okay. situation it's basically the same thing but it's just a shampoo without adding color into it this is also no parabens no salt no sulfates and no peroxides which is good i don't know what this says on here this one is it says nothing thanks oh 100 percent <laughs> vegan <laughs> thanks <laughs> dick six urine hmm. is that why people drink piss golden showers oh god r kelly Ooh. We won't talk about that too much. No. <laughs> he doesn't deserve no clout for anywhere. <laughs> Janet and I were talking about him. Yeah. And like literally she was like, I don't want to like him. And you know, I was like, you know, I get it. Mm. But like, I mean, let's be honest. How many children were made to buffing and grind? Or ignition. Ignition. Oh my god. Or two step. I love that song. Oh god. But you, like someone said to me, they're like, okay, but think about all these love songs and put it in the perspective of he's thinking of underage girls and then it gets really creepy. Yeah, it does get creepy. And I'm like, <laughs> I really need to dig deeper and just stop watching clips and actually just watch the episodes. Oh, I think I haven't watched it because I'm like, I know it's going to upset me. Like I'm a huge Aaliyah fan. Like I was crushed. Yes. And I know that they talk about Aaliyah in there yeah. and I don't want to hear anything. I don't think they're talking negatively about her. It's just obviously like he tried to marry her when she was 15. But then, like, then the parents allow it. The parents allowed it. Her parents are fucked up. Like, well, that's what the thing is. Like, I think the girls he was targeting, like, all their parents were either like oblivious or like were like, oh, he's famous, or like you know, like somehow trusted him. Yeah. So he knew how to pick these people out, which is sick. creepy and sick and so wrong. And it's like, because you know, all these people that really felt, you know, they really like, I believe you, I can fly, uplifted so many people. Especially Michael Jackson and Space Jam. Michael Jackson? Michael Jordan? <laughs> I saw something else. I saw something else. I love that bitch though, too. In my newsfeed about Michael Jackson. Dude. Yeah, they're doing like a documentary about like that whole sex scandal thing. Oh, the um, <laughs> Escape from Neverland. Yeah, which is stupid to me because they've debunked everything that happened in there. Like, they're like, he never molested these children. And they even have like things against like people setting stuff like, like so much shit came out where like he's the innocent party so like mm -hmm. why are you making a fucking documentary about this shit yeah like i mean unless it's to proclaim his innocence but i doubt it is i don't think that he molested children no like i read this whole thing where this girl went in and she's like an investigative reporter and she like investigated all the claims and she's like all of them are debunked yeah like so people are out here still making fun of him for these things that didn't fucking happen yeah no i don't think he molested any children i think that he was a victim I think he was because too. Because he was a child. Yeah. I'm going to do a quick treatment on our hair and then we will style and then you'll be able to see a before and after of her red. Yep. <laughs>
we have, oh, hold on. Okay. We have treated her hair. We have washed it and we let it sit and then we conditioned it or masked, whatever. And then we did a quick simple blowout with the lots and lots of Texas volume. As you can see, as I keep touching it, it just keeps growing and growing. That's how these Texas women like it. But anyhow, she just has a simple, like, um, I mean, it's different names for everywhere, but it's a inverted bob from my world. Anyhow, so you can see that the red is more vibrant. It's a little, it's brighter and just, you know, a little richer. Um, I use to blow her out um, Color Guard. Um, I used all Lanza styling products, but there's only two. Lanza Color Guard and um, the Lanza New Bounce Up Spray. And then I just used a little bit of Kenra hairspray to um, set it out a little bit. But I wanted to show you that the Lanza spray, I mean, she does have a lot of hair already, but the Lanza spray gives it, it's a heat protectant, the Bounce Up Spray. It's a heat protectant, but it also, I forgot how long, I think up to 500 degrees. But anyways, but it also has a volumizer in it without the feel of putting volumizer in your hair. Um, so she's got, I didn't put in any mousse, no root lift, none of that, just the volumizer spray in her hair by itself. It didn't feel like they had any product in it. And then I also used the color guard, to, um, on her hair before I put the volumizer in there, just simply because, um, it's also a heat protectant, but it also prevents your hair. It's an SPF for your hair, which is really important in sunnier, drier climates, but it's also, especially for hair that's color treated. And it also stops your hair from absorbing water. And when your hair is not absorbing water, it's not absorbing the minerals. So that means it's not absorbing all the shit that's actually in water. Because literally, water is horrible for your hair. Bottom line. Which is insane. Yeah. Which is, you wouldn't think so because it's great for your body, but it's shit for your hair. So it stops it from absorbing impurities. So if you're blonde, it's going to stop your hair from turning brassy. Because blonde hair is literally like a cigarette butt. It just sucks in everything from the environment. So if there's nothing there to absorb, whatever. And plus that she also has red hair and you want that red to last longer. When you wash your hair as a red, your hair, the color is just gonna go straight down to the fucking drain. True. Exactly, so it's also, you spray it in your hair after you get out of the shower. You can respray it once you get back in the shower to wash your hair, but it also, it just is a good protectant so that you won't wash away your red. When I was red, I mean, I went weeks weeks without retouching my hair color because I didn't have to. It's simple maintenance. Shampoo, condition, color guard. There you go. It makes your hair color, your red last. Any hair, hair color will make it. There's other steps too. When we retouch our hair, we'll go over those steps in another video. Cause you gotta come back, right? Duh. All right. So now that we're back, um, we are going to beat this face. Yes. So. Yes, clean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's so hard. I'm instantly starting to fucking sweat. Marinara makes sense. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck is in that glass. I thought it was clean. This is the beauty bar. We, we must drink. drink huh? We must drink. I mean, we could definitely be like that one girl who does edibles and makeup. Oh like, my god! I love her. I would. I would totally. Once or, whenever I get fired. <laughs> so true. I'm just saying. I like how that's in your plans. Whenever I get fired. Whenever I get fired. We're doing edibles. Takes that shit. Therapy. Fucking blotting therapy. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, God. It's so good. So you should put that in the outtake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, people will be like, relatable yeah. content. <laughs> oh, I love the blot. Okay. Oh, it's just yeah. like my body. Hi, I'm back again, and thanks for watching. Um, like I said in the intro, um, I'm sorry I forgot a bunch of things in this video and I was going to do a voiceover but I thought it would just be easier to put the little clips in, um, my little side note cards. And then 
Um, please stay tuned for next week's video, which is going to be part two of Brittany's video where I finish the makeover. We go over her um, holy grails and fails. Um, and uh, yeah, that should be it. Again, please um, subscribe and hit the little notification button. I will be uploading every Wednesday, hopefully before noon, whatever. I think I'm in central, central time. I have no idea. Thank you and stay tuned for part two. Bye.